Hey guys, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Today I'm going to be talking about something slightly different, as you can probably tell by this slightly different camera setup. And if you haven't already noticed, today I'm going to be talking about my Amiibo collection, and more specifically, how much each of these Amiibo cost. To do that, I'm going to be referencing the CEX website. For those of you who don't know, CEX, or Computer Entertainment Exchange, is a kind of second-hand technology shop where you can take stuff to be traded in, for store credit, for money, and you can also buy things from them too. So what I'm gonna do is talk about every single one of my Amiibo, and as I do that, the price of which I can sell them for, the price of which I can trade them in for, and how much they cost to buy, are gonna pop up on the screen and kind of have a running, total running tally of how much these things are worth. So let's begin with Wolf Link and Midna, I think her name is. Now I've only played a few of the Legend of Zelda games, Twilight Princess being one of them. And I've got to say, I really, really enjoy this game. It's one of the best games on the Wii, in my opinion at least. And I was really, really happy when I got this because I adore Wolf Link. He's so cute. So next, um, Dr. Mario. I don't really have much kind of background with this character. I've never played a Dr. Mario game, I don't think. I don't know if that... I don't even know if there's a game about Dr. Mario, but whatever. Uh, I got him for five pounds, which was an absolute bargain. Next is Rosalina, I think her name is, from Mario Galaxy, I think the games are. Um, again, I haven't played Mario Galaxy, so I don't know much about this character, but she looks pretty cool. And one of the reasons why I have her is because I bought her in a set with Donkey Kong. <laughs> So when I was going around a gaming market, I saw both of these characters and I just asked the guy how much they were and he decided to sell both of them. For, I think it was about five pounds together or maybe 10 pounds together. I, basically, he sold them in a bundle and they were super duper cheap for what I got them for. So I just snapped them up right away. Next we have Link's Awakening Link. One of the first Legend of Zelda games I ever played was Link's Awakening. In fact, I think it was the first one I played. Um, I had no idea about any of the characters. I had no idea Zelda was a thing. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, I, it was just amazing to play the remastered version of my first Legend of Zelda game. And just having this guy as well is absolutely wonderful. I got this as a present as well, so which was just absolutely fantastic as well. It was very nice of the person who bought it for me. Now the next Amiibo that I'm going to talk about is uh, Super Mario Brothers 30 year anniversary Mario. Um, he's really, really heavy and really chunky. Um, this was actually the last Amiibo that I got before the whole coronavirus thing. I went to the Doncaster gaming market and he was there so I got him, snapped him up. Um, so yeah something to remember this pandemic with. Uh, next, let's go to the next row, is everyone's, well, I'm gonna say everyone's favorite Pokemon. I, I don't know if it is everyone's favorite, but it is absolutely the most well-known Pokemon, uh, Pikachu. Um, I think I got this for a present as well. Next is Isabel uh, from Animal Crossing, and I actually got her with Digby, I think his name is, in the, Another stupid Amiibo Animal Crossing Festival game for the Wii U. I actually, I actually found that in Poundland for five pounds, so I just snapped it up straight away. And I ended up selling the game, so I, I got it cheaper. Next is Mario. Um, not much to say about Mario. He is a super, super famous mascot of Nintendo. If I need to introduce you to him, then I don't know what, what is happening. <laughs> Um, Tom Nook as well, um, before Animal Crossing New Horizons I had no idea about anything to do with Animal Crossing, I'd never played a game before, so it was very nice to play Animal Crossing for the first time. Next is Olimar and some of his Pikmin, I haven't played a Pikmin game, um, <laughs> it's really funny because I have not played a lot of Nintendo games. Um, I'm a very, very late adopter to this 
company and these franchises. But that's actually pretty good because I have a lot of things to look forward to when games come out and all that kind of stuff. Now, on the next row forward, uh, Luigi. Um, I don't have much history with this character. I don't know much about him, apart from him being Mario's brother. But I have recently played uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 and I really enjoyed that game. So I do want to go back eventually to uh, the first one and potentially the second one, I think it's Dark Moon. Um, I've heard that Dark Moon isn't that great, uh, so I might just skip that and go back to the first original one. Next is Shulk, I believe, um, from Xenoblade Chronicles. Again, <laughs> I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles, the original, so I'm very much looking forward to playing the, the remake that is, as the time of this video is being recorded, coming out in the next few weeks, so I'm very much looking forward to playing that game because I, I kind of want a long form RPG, JRPG, to play, so that might just fit the bill very nicely. Now next up is Marina and Pearl from the Splatoon franchise. I can't remember which is which, but I have actually played the Splatoon franchise, which is surprising, I know. Now what is interesting about these two characters, I actually bought them when I went back on holiday to the town where I lived in Spain a few years ago, and I actually got them for about, I think it was 40 euros, um, which I think translated to, to about 30 or 35 pounds at the time, which was pretty cool. Next is Mewtwo, uh, a very cool Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty sure I got him for a, as a present as well. Uh, next is Cloud from Final Fantasy. Um, I am a huge, huge fan of Final Fantasy VII. It was my favorite Final Fantasy game until I recently replayed Final Fantasy IX, and that just completely blew out the water for me. I haven't played the remake, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, yet. I don't think I want to. Um, I have no problem with people enjoying the new version of it. I just, I know what happens and I'm just not into, I'm just not into it, to be honest. Um, that's fine, you know. Don't have to enjoy every single bit of a franchise. So next is Kirby, uh, the adorable pink ball. Um, and again, I actually bought him when I was in Spain this time in Barcelona. For some reason, Spain and Europe seem to have a much more readily available supply of Amiibo in like actual shops rather than like secondhand shops or whatever, like proper retail shops. They seem to have much more range. Next is Breath of the Wild Zelda. Um, very, very cool game. Cool character where they've fleshed her out a bit more and stuff like that. Love it. Next is Ganondorf from, he's from um, Twilight Princess? I think he is, I think that's where his design is from. So I actually bought Ganondorf from a car boot sale. I was wandering around the car boot sale um, with no money on me, like an idiot. I actually saw him and another Link. I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of the, I think it was maybe Toon Link, I can't remember. But one of the Links and Ganondorf. And I was like, right, I'm gonna get both of them. So I went straight back to the stall that I was on at the time. My girlfriend at the time was uh, looking after it. And I got my money, went back to the stall, and the link had gone <laughs> in the short amount of time that it took me to kind of get money and go back, which is a shame. So I got him and I'm really happy with him. Next is the Breath of the Wild Link. Oops, Breath of the Wild Link uh, Archer. Fantastic pose, I've got to say. Really, really cool. Next is Mr. Rossetti, I think, from Animal Crossing. Um, I don't really have any like knowledge of him um, because he isn't in the newest one for whatever reason. Um, but, you know, he's pretty cool, he's cute, so I'm happy that I've got him. And next, uh, the <laughs> I should have really checked the names out before doing this video, but I can't remember this character's name. I know that he's from Mother. Um, just, oh, Ness, that's his name, Ness, yeah. Um, Ness from Mother. I got him super cheap from Argos, I think it was, when they were selling, like selling out of them or whatever, or getting rid of them, so they discounted them quite a lot. And yeah, that was me talking about my Amiibo collection. I don't actually have the price list of these figures as I'm filming this video. Um, I'm gonna sort all that out after I finish recording this bit, but I do know it's in like the hundreds. Um, if I were to 
buy these figures straight away, which is pretty impressive to be honest. Um, and I think it's like a couple of hundred pounds if I were to sell them straight away, which again is pretty cool. Uh, I don't plan to sell these anytime soon because I enjoy my collection. They're really cool, they look good on my shelf. I can use them as like kind of DLC for a whole range of games. So again, I don't plan to sell them. But it's just interesting to see how much these things can be worth. With that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then by all means, like, comment, subscribe, all our social media goodness. As always, thank you very much for your time, and don't forget to live that best known life.